Hi everybody, it's me again, Lindsay Malloy, and welcome back to my channel. Um, just real quick before we get started, if you are new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit that like button if you enjoy playing with me's. Um, and definitely comment down below if you want me to check out your channel or if you want to ask any questions about anything that I'm showing in here. Um, so this week I am planning the week of June 11th through the 17th. And here's just a flip back through to the week that we are currently in. And we're filming on Thursday. Sorry, my brother is texting me and my watch just keeps going. <laughs> um, so yeah, but anyways, um, this week, here's what it looks like after the pen. I, again, I've said it before, I don't usually add in my little things or my little characters until I'm in the midst of the week. Um, so yeah, that's why during the plan with me's you don't usually see those. Um, I finally last week kind of added a little bit of what I've been tr struggling to fill in, which are these pages, this page right here. Um, so here's how you can kind of see the previous weekend um, and what a finished look uh, week looks like, but yeah. So this week, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. All right, so here is the week that we're planning, and this week I am using a kit from Tiny Little Tulip, um, and I am not sure how to say that. Hig, Hig kit? I don't know. Um, but I really love this kit, um, especially because it came with a bunch of deco. It just feels calm and serene, and I feel like after our party that we're having this weekend, I'm really going to look forward to just having some calmness and not having some huge events that I am planning anymore. Um, and we'll be working on our yard mostly for the rest of the time. So this week, um, I am going to be using this kit. So here is the deco sheet. I think this is gorgeous. Um, I'm definitely going to use most of these deco pieces, I think, on these pages right here. Um, so that's what I'm going to use those. I don't know if I want to use the date covers this week, but I do love the numbers because I do use these numbers in my um, happy planner exercise and fit my fitness planner um, where I track food and things like that. So I definitely save those. Um, here are the full boxes, which are gorgeous. I think I'll definitely use these together on the weekend. The only issue with these is not a lot of them look like they would be easily cut down, and I cut down my full boxes. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate these, but I'm going to figure it out um, because they are so beautiful. I bet I could probably cut down, I don't know, maybe that one a little bit and maybe this one. Um, and I... I'm not a huge fashion girl person, so I probably won't even use this one. Um, but yeah, there I think there is some washi in this kit, so I probably supplement mostly with washi. Um, here are the full box heart checklists and the half boxes, quarter boxes, appointment labels, things like that. Some large flags; those are really pretty. I think I'll probably use those throughout the week. Um, some headers, little things, um, habit trackers. Um, the heart checklist, sidebar stuff, icons, things like that, weekend banner. And then here's all the washi um, that I think I will probably mostly be using the washi instead of the full boxes, except for on the weekends or um, probably Friday I'll be able to fit a full box because um, mostly I don't have too much going on on Fridays. So yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and get started. I am going to go ahead and fast forward. Um, I think for this kit, I'll probably just be sticking with this. And then of course, pulling in my character stickers and icons and things like that. Um, I definitely have plenty of Happy Diet, new Happy Diet stickers that I want to use. So I will try and pull some of those in as well. 
So let's get started with the fast forward. Okay, so getting started here, I pulled out some of these glitter headers from Scribble Prints Co. And these, um, it was like a full pack with just a whole bunch of different colors of a of the glitter headers. Um, so the color that I'm using for this week is this beige color um, glitter headers, which I think goes perfectly with the kit. Um, it's muted, but still brings a little bit more color to the page, I feel like. Um, so then just adding the full box checklists at the top, and then I'll be adding in the to-do list after that. Um, I generally, if you are new to my channel, I generally plan the same way um, every week, but um, I have some life changes that will probably change those things up, so stick around for those. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> I currently... Um, work for a technology company so and I work from home and we have a lot of meetings every single day um, so it just doesn't make sense to have a little phone icon sticker or something like that and list the meetings throughout the day because then the whole day would just be meetings with a bunch of phone stickers um, so what I do is at the top I use the um, usually the full box heart checklist and cut those down for the number of calls that I have. And then underneath, I add a to-do um, label and then it, the heart checklists. And I am a white space planner, so I like to have leave a little bit of space in between those. And then at the bottom, every day I like to track what we have for dinners. Um, it's great to look back on and see you know, trends that we have going on in our family, just, um, you can tell when we have pizza or really easy dinners a bunch of nights, you can just tell that I just wasn't into cooking that week, so it's interesting just to look back on, um, and then on my sidebar, I'm just putting in the little things, um, instead of the this week, because I liked the color, I wanted to use the gray instead, um, and then I just put in that weekly, um, ombre full box. Then on the weekend, just adding in some more of those full um, glitter headers from Scribble Prints Co. And I loved this full box scene and I wanted to have them together. So I put those on Saturday and Sunday. And then I put down a little things header and a heart checklist. And that's usually the whole to-do list for my entire weekend. It's not just for Saturday. Um, and then on the sidebar, I went ahead and put in the habit trackers. And I have been enjoying keeping track of what I'm currently reading. So I got these currently reading uh, labels from Minted Papery. And I just added that onto a fourth, uh, one fourth box, quarter box, I guess you, is what it is. <laughs> Getting confused with my words lately. Um, so now, just for the week, I am going to mark the days that I go to my group fitness classes, and um, I use a half box for those, and then I am using some um, emojis from Coffee Monsters Co., and they're just the little workout ones. Um, then just cutting down this full box so that it will fit in the space on Monday, and Wednesday and Friday, summers are pretty easy for me, especially call-wise. So I had more room to be able to have a full box. Um, so I'm just putting in my favorites for the week. Um, and I loved that, you know, especially this week where I didn't have a bunch that I needed to put down. I think these full boxes are just gorgeous. So I'm glad I didn't have to cut them down too much. Um, then on the weekend... I'm going to cover up the um, fonts at the top. Um, I'm not, I liked some of it, but it's just, it's too much. Too much of the same font all over the place. So I use these little washi strips and then I just cover those up. Then um, I also want to block off a little bit more of that space down there. I mean, I don't know, how, it doesn't, looking back on it, I don't, really like how that turned out with just the full box randomly placed right there but um it works for now 
Then on the left side, I'm just adding in some deco stickers and on the dinners label, that dinners section I use to plan the following week. Um, then adding some more washi strips to cover up the text and add a little bit more interest. I loved this kit. This kit um, from Tiny Little Tulip came with a deco sheet, which, you know, not a lot of kits that just like the standard issue kits rather than getting a full-on like luxe or deluxe or you know giant kit that's super expensive tiny little tulip has kits that are inexpensive especially if you buy during a sale and um they come with deco and come with like basically everything that you need so it's pretty awesome Um, so yeah, just covering up um, some more of those bits and bobs here and there, um, and just kind of filling in with some deco. And I think that's pretty much it that I do um, on the weekend and these list pages. Then just doing some hand lettering. Um, I like to use a little cursive on my habit trackers. And yeah marking in the book that I'm reading this week, and so on. And then I think that is about it. All right, so all finished with that. Um, here is the finished week before the pen. I really like how muted this is. I am looking forward to filling this up. Summer is pretty slow for me at work, especially call-wise, which is kind of nice. Um, and I really don't have any pre-planned things for this week, no appointments or anything like that. So, um, and I'm sure I will um, as I get closer to the week. But for now, this is what I have. Um, so for this week, I want to track reading and then um, closing all the rings on my Apple Watch. Um, and the wa the rings that are on there are, um, there's a move ring, so you basically, how many calories you burn. There's an exercise ring, so how many minutes you're at an elevated heart rate. And then the last ring is the standing ring, so standing at least one minute every hour. Um, for 12 hours. So hoping to do that. Um, I haven't been doing very well with that lately. Um, I want to get better at that. I want to start doing something every day. Um, I need to lose weight. I mean, I, I just have to and I, I don't feel great about my body or anything. So it's a big reason why I started um, using my happy planner fitness planner as well. So now that I'm in the habit of tracking what I eat now I want to start um, finishing out everything else in my life like working out anyways um so yeah i liked that i had enough room basically to use all the full boxes as they were meant to be used as full boxes um this was the only one that i really had to cut down um there's some free spaces left here um some extra space there that I plan on using some character stickers or adding some just some you know things that pop up there and um, so those will be filled in throughout the week um, I bet you so I really liked this little plant sticker but as you can see on this page with the weekend moving back over to here there's already that little planter pot twice in two of the full boxes so I didn't want to use it again a third time so I that's what I um, moved it over here for um, anyways over here here's um, the usual dinners um, this kit didn't come with a happy mail sticker so I'll probably have to find one um, probably in here and I'll probably find one let's actually do it right now Let's find one in the freebies because those are usually the where I don't I don't ever order happy mail stickers per se so freebies are usually where I get all of my happy mail stickers um, let's see which one kind of matches I'm not seeing one that matches too well I might actually even use my own freebie um, sticky box 
Let's do that. I'm gonna use my own um, Sticky Fox. And put the Sticky Fox here. for the little planner and then um, he's, he's holding a planner and stickers and things like that. So that'll look like, um, you know, he's waiting for happy mail. I don't know though, my Fox, Sticky Fox doesn't, the coloring doesn't quite match. So I might not be able to use him this week. Um, yeah, I think that's, yeah, I'm gonna save him for later. He doesn't quite go, darn. All right, I am going to be coming out with a sticky fox that is in white or all black, um, like just a black and white um, sticky fox. So um, that is in the works so that it will go with more things. You know what I mean? Because right now the orange, I mean, it doesn't really go with all layouts. So I'm gonna use this one. This is from Paper Loving Mommy. This is a freebie that I've got, I got a long time ago. Um, and it's this little, cute little drawing. Um, I don't know if you can see that up close. Of the little blonde haired girl holding a box, jumping up and down for packages. So, oops. The only thing I'm waiting on, which I don't think is shipped yet. I didn't write it this week actually, I wrote it last week is my fur and you. Um, I got a little flower that um, I am expecting and that has not shipped yet. So I'm waiting for that to be notified that it has shipped and then I will write it down that I have received it. Um, so yeah, still waiting for that. Um, other than that, I'm having a, pretty much I've, I've fallen into a no spend. Um, I don't plan on buying any stickers for the rest of this month. If I do buy stickers, I want to buy printable ones um, just to limit my spending right now because um, we are spending so much money on our landscaping, which if you've ever done landscaping, it can get expensive. So yeah, that's what um, I wanted to say for it. And it is starting to thunder outside, but it feels so nice. I've got the window open. Anyways. Um, kind of left these open, kind of left the priorities open here. I want to try and use these again. I just never use them. I never end up using them. Um, it just ends up being wasted space for me. Um, but hopefully if I make it beautiful, I'll use it. We'll see. Um, again, just using this area for a happy thought, um, happy mail, dinner planning for the following week. Um, so I flip back. So like this week... I haven't planned for this week yet, um, so I'll put those there. But for this week, I planned back here. So I have all these dinners are basically repeated here in some shape or form. Sometimes they do change, but that's how it works. Um, so yeah, this is really working for me. I've been loving carrying this around in my Foxy Fix, so um, I'm gonna bring you with me into putting it back into my Foxy Fix. And I don't plan on switching into my new one. If you haven't seen in the haul video, I did get a new Lush Foxy Fix, um, same gray color. I love everything gray. Um, as you can see, I got gravitated towards this kit uh, with all of its gray hues and things. Um, but I have been loving carrying this around um it just i just absolutely love it i'm gonna put this back on where we are right now but yeah this is everything before the pen if you enjoyed this please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you next time with another plan with me or planner related video um yeah i think that is it we'll see you next time bye